Uzbekistan US, listen, UK, is the common English name for the Uzbek Soviet Socialist Republic Uzbek SSR, Uzbek, Uzbekistan SSR O Zbekistan SSR, Russian, Uzbekskaya SSR Uzbekskaya SSR and later, the Republic of Uzbekistan Uzbek, O Zbekistan Respublikasi, Uzbekistan Respublikasi that refers to the period of Uzbekistan from 1924 to 1991, as one of the constituent republics of the Soviet Union. It was governed by the Uzbek branch of the Soviet Communist Party, the only legal political party, from 1925 until 1990. From 1990 to 1991, it was a sovereign part of the Soviet Union with its own legislation. Sometimes, that period is also referred to as Soviet Uzbekistan. Beginning 20 June 1990, the Uzbek SSR adopted the declaration of state sovereignty within its borders. Islam Karimov became the republic's inaugural president. On 31 August 1991, the Uzbek SSR was renamed the Republic of Uzbekistan and declared independence three months before the Soviet Union's dissolution on 26 December 1991. Uzbekistan was bordered by Kazakhstan to the north, Tajikistan to the southeast, Kyrgyzia to the northeast, Afghanistan to the south, and Turkmenistan to the southwest. Topic. Name The name, Uzbekistan, literally means, home of the free, taken from an amalgamation of Uz Turkic, self, Bek Turkic, master, Bey in modern Turkish, and Stan Persian, land of. However, the official name of the republic was the Uzbek Soviet Socialist Republic as defined by its 1937 and 1978 constitutions. History In 1924, the borders of political units in Central Asia were changed along ethnic lines determined by Vladimir Lenin's Commissar for Nationalities, Joseph Stalin. The Turkestan ASSR, the Bukharan People's Republic, and the Khorizm People's Republic were abolished and their territories were divided into eventually five separate Soviet Socialist Republics, one of which was the Uzbek Socialist Soviet Republic, created on 27 October 1924. The next year Uzbekistan became one of the republics of the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics Soviet Union. In 1928, the collectivization of land into state farms was initiated, which lasted until the late 1930s. Uzbekistan included the Tajik ASSR until 1929, when the Tajik ASSR was upgraded to an equal status. In 1930, the Uzbek SSR capital was relocated from Samarkand to Tashkent, which remained the capital since. In 1936, Uzbekistan was enlarged with the addition of the Karakalpak ASSR taken from the Kazakh SSR in the last stages of the national delimitation in the Soviet Union. That same year in December, it was renamed to the Uzbek Soviet Socialist Republic. Further bits and pieces of territory were transferred several times between Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan after World War II. In 1937–38, during the Great Purge, a number of alleged nationalists were executed, including Faizula Kojayev, the first prime minister. During World War II, many industries were relocated to Uzbekistan from vulnerable locations in western regions of the USSR to keep them safe. Large numbers of Russians, Ukrainians and other nationalities accompanied the factories, altering the demographics of the republic. The demographic situation was further aggravated by Stalin's forced deportation of some ethnic groups suspected of collaboration with the Axis powers including Nazi Germany from other parts of the Soviet Union to Uzbekistan. This included large numbers of ethnic Koreans, Crimean Tatars, and Chechens. During the Soviet period, Islam became a focal point for the anti-religious drives of communist authorities. The government closed most mosques, and religious schools became anti-religious museums. On the positive side was the virtual elimination of illiteracy, even in rural areas. Only a small percentage of the population was literate before 1917, this percentage increased to nearly 100% under the Soviets. Another major development, one with future catastrophic impact, was the drive initiated in the early 1960s to substantially increase cotton production in the Republic. This drive led to overzealous irrigation withdrawals of irrigation water from the AMU Darya and the subsequent Aral Sea ecological disaster. 
Towards the end of the Soviet-Afghan War, several troops crossed the Uzbek border from Afghanistan as part of the its withdrawal on 15 February 1989. The Communist Party was the only legal party in the Uzbek SSR until 1990. The first secretary, or head, of the Communist Party of Uzbekistan was consistently an Uzbek. Longtime leader of the Uzbek SSR was Sharov Rashidov, head of the Communist Party of Uzbekistan from 1959 to 1983. Islam Karimov, leader of the Communist Party of Uzbekistan since 1989 and subsequently head of that party's reincarnation, the People's Democratic Party PDP, became president of the Uzbek SSR in 1990. On 20 June 1990, the Supreme Soviet adopted the Declaration of State Sovereignty of the Uzbek SSR, which took over the laws of the Soviet Union days after the Russian SFSR adopted theirs. Topic. Independence Uzbek SSR participated in the referendum in March 1991 as a part of the proposed Union of Sovereign States. This never came to pass after unsuccessful coup attempt events between 19–21 August 1991 in Moscow. In the aftermath, the Uzbek SSR was renamed the Republic of Uzbekistan and declared its independence on 31 August 1991, formally remaining a part of the Soviet Union until 26 December 1991. With the final collapse of the Soviet Union, the Uzbek SSR became the independent nation of Uzbekistan although the 1978 constitution remained in use. The referendum was confirmed on 29 December 1991. Politics Uzbekistan, akin to the rest of the Soviet republics, was defined by a single-party socialist republic framework, whereby the first secretary of the Central Committee was the head of the party, the chairman of the Presidium of the Supreme Soviet as the head of state and the chairman of the Council of Ministers served as the head of government in a one-party system led by the CPSU's Republican branch, the Communist Party of Uzbekistan. Executive power was exercised by the government and the legislative power was vested in Supreme Soviet where it met for sessions in Tashkent. Economy <inaudible> 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 Uzbekistan had an industrial sector including electric power generation, engineering, and chemical production. Uzbekistan's energy came from large thermal power plants, including those at Sirdaria, Angren, Tashkent and others. There was also a hydroelectric component to the economy, including the Charvik, Hajikentskaya, Ghazalkent and Farkad hydroelectric plants, among others. The natural gas industry was of importance to the economy of the republic. The Ghazli deposits and other in Kashkadaria Mubarak, Shirtan area contributed to this industry. Uzbekistan also produced oil for Ghana Valley, Bukhara and Sirkandaria region. In terms of minerals, there was production of lead and zinc, tungsten, molybdenum, copper ores found in the Karamazarskaya group of deposits, and gold found in the Navoy region, Jizik region, and others. Chemical manufacturing included the production of mineral fertilizers nitrogen and phosphorus for cotton in Cherchik, Kokand, Samarkand, Fergana, Almalik, and Navoy, the manufacture of chemical fibers in Fergana, plastics in Fergana and Namangan, rubber products, household chemicals, and more. Petrochemical, chemical and pharmaceutical, and the microbiological industry were all present in some form. Some of the engineering sector included, agriculture machinery for the mechanization of cotton cultivation, cotton harvesters, etc., production of tractors, equipment for the cotton and textile industry, construction and road machines, electrical engineering, aviation, electronic and instrument making, chemical and petroleum engineering. Some companies also produced cement, asbestos cement pipes, slate, and ceramics. Some of the light industry present in Uzbekistan included the primary processing of cotton, silk cocoons, wool, fiber crops, raw hides, and caracal pelts. Cotton and silk textiles, footwear, garments, and carpets were all produced in Uzbekistan. The food industry produced oil and fat, mainly oil production from cotton seeds, tinned vegetables, butter and cheese, milk, and meat. Subdivisions. List of changes 
The 27th of October 1924 creation of Uzbek Soviet Socialist Republic. The 15th of October 1929 Tajik Autonomous Soviet Socialist Republic and a region around Kuyan Kojent split off and become the Tajik Soviet Socialist Republic. The 5th of December 1936 Karakalpak Autonomous Soviet Socialist Republic was joined to the Uzbek SSR. The 16th of February 1963 SYR Darya Oblast Center Gulistan is formed. In 1973 a large part of the oblast's territory was transferred to the newly formed DZ Hyzik Oblast. The 29th of December 1973 DZ Hyzik Oblast split from Samarkand Oblast, RU WP, DZ Hyzik is formed. CA. 1981 Navoy Oblast split from Bukhara Oblast. The 20th of April 1982 RU WP Navoy Oblast is formed. Topic. 1927. Khorizm Okrug, Cap, Kiva. Kanamek Rayon, Cap, Kanamek. Bukhara. Zirovshan Okrug, Cap, Kerman. Kashka Daran Okrug, Cap, Bek Budi. Samarkand. Sirkan Darshan Okrug, Cap, Shurabad. Tashkent. Kotshent. Fergan Okrug, Capital, Kokand. Andijan Tajik ASSR Dushanbe Gorno Badakhshan Autonomous Oblast, Cap, Koror 1936 Constitution of the USSR Article 26 the Uzbek Soviet Socialist Republic consists of the Bukhara, Samarkand, Tashkent, Fergana, and Khorizm regions, and the Kara Kalpak Autonomous Soviet Socialist Republic. 1938 Kara Kalpak Autonomous Soviet Socialist Republic, Nukuz. Khorizm Oblast, Kap, Urinch. Bukhara Oblast. Sirkan Darshan Okrug today, Sirkandario Province. Samarkand Oblast today, Samarkand Province, Jizik Province, Sirdario Province. Tashkent Oblast. Fergana Oblast, capital Fergana today, Namangan Province, Andijan Province, Fergana Province. Topic. 1989. Karakalpak ASSR. Khorizm Oblast, Bukhara Oblast, Samarkand Oblast, Kashkadaria Oblast, Sirkadaria Oblast, Jizik Oblast, Sirdaria Oblast, Tashkent Oblast, Andijan Oblast, Namangan Oblast, Fergana Oblast 1991 Topic References Topic External Links Uzbekistan Another Big Leap Forward by Afif Alamov